so I'm just setting my intention for the day with some sage and today is going to be so exciting because I'm driving up island and I'm going to my friend's farm in Ladysmith and she has some horses there and so I'm going to get to help her out around the farm. She's going to teach me a few things about caring for horses because it's my dream to have a horse. So that's what I'm doing today and the horse is one of my power animals and my horse represents creativity for me in a lot of ways. I find that my horse is just always there with me. It's just a feeling that I always have. It really is so amazing when we get the opportunity to connect with our power animals in like the 3D world. We can shamanic journey or we can meditate with our power animals, but when we actually get to spend time with that animal, then it just creates an even deeper bond and awareness about our animals and our connections to them. And I'm pretty lucky that most of my power animals are relatively common animals that I have access to. Um, I feel like my horse has been... Hi. <laughs> so when we get to connect with our power animals, it just really deepens that connection within ourselves. So it deepens our connection with our higher self. And it also just deepens our connection with the natural world, the spirit world, and with that power animal. And our power animals are spirit guides that support us and guide us, offer us wisdom. And our power animals really remind us that we're not alone on this journey. Spirit animals are always there whether we know it or not. They connect us to our higher selves, they connect us to the natural world. This trip, I have so many intentions for this trip um, that all kind of work together and align together. And so my intentions for this trip up island to the farm are to deepen my connection with horses and just spend the day with horses. I don't really care what we do, I just wanna be around them. I want to learn about caring for horses, maybe learn some more riding tips, and spend some time with my friend who I haven't gotten to spend quality time with in, I don't know, since I was a kid. So <laughs> it's gonna be a really cool trip of reconnecting with an old friend, reconnecting with my power animal in person and just having this new experience that's kind of segueing me into this life that I'm dreaming for myself, this farm life kind of thing. So I'm going to continue getting ready and I'm going to hit the road.
gives me these really amazing hugs. So cute. <laughs>
lost again going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they invite my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer if I'm out of There's also some owls hooting around and I missed Bink so much. Oh, you're so cute. Do you hear that owl? Do you hear that owl? I'm back from my farm and horse adventure and I'm, I'm back home now at my own homestead just sitting here on my garden with Binks and I, I had the best time I learned so much my friend knows that it is my dream to have my own farm have my own horse and she was so kind to show me all of these things and teach me she taught me so much. Um, the farrier came and I got to watch her change one of the horse's shoes, which was so wild. I had never seen that before. I connected so deeply with her horse named Gus 
and he's not old enough to ride yet he's about two and he's just kind of learning to tame his wild ways and he would just give me the best hugs and he would put his head on my shoulder and then tuck me in really close and oh it's just the best feeling Thank you so much for watching this Vancouver Island Farm Life video and, and for holding space for me while I learn about farm life and learning about taking care of horses and manifesting my dreams. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.